All right. Um, good afternoon. It is 3:21. Well, 15:21, depending on what, how you're going to go with. Um, now, usually, what I was planning to do today is put up more flash stories, short, short, short stories on flashcards, um, like I had done before, because I'm seeing them getting a lot of views. Uh, but the thing is, I'm not too sure which ones, because I do have a few of them, like, written out in that. I mean, I just don't know what, you know, what I should put on to, you know, put on my channel. It's just another dilemma, being a writer. Um, oh, and here's a tip for anyone out there who writes or who's into, you know, creative writing or whoever gets bored. I've got this thing I do called fill in the blanks. Now, I used to do this when I was a kid with other things, you know, like with uh, Mad Libs, um, just, you know, little coloring books and workbooks and stuff like that. And that used to keep me busy when we were on the road and traveling and I didn't you know, wasn't able to get any real books, you know, I wasn't, um, I didn't have a laptop sort of thing. This was before I had a laptop. Um, and what I would do is I would have, like, a sentence, and then I would just have, like, you know, fill in the blanks next, you know, like, right above it, and then have a sentence, and then, you know, like, uh, well, I'd have the beginning of a sentence, and then I'd have a line, a bar, and I would have to fill that out and then I'd keep on writing depending if I had motivation that would connect to it just automatically like that and most of the time that it usually was the case. Um, like, let's see, I have one right here I'm looking at. My best friend used to, and then there's a line. Now, um, like most of you, childhood best friend, teen, teen best friends, high school best friends, sort of stuff, I mean, but the thing is, I still had the best friend I had in school, but we were always apart because we were going to different schools and doing different things. Now, she still is technically my childhood best friend. She does let me know, and I do have her on Facebook and stuff like that. But she's, you know, pregnant with her first kid, and she's excited, and also working and stuff like that. Being adults keeps us busy. So if I had something like this, um, I would think, my best friend used to get me into trouble. <laughs> and I would make up a story right then and there about my best friend getting me into trouble, which actually, actually technically... Um, never happened because I never got into trouble as a kid. Um, see, most of the stuff look like this, just so you know. All the blanks, it's a game, it's still like this, basically. I mean, these are just for fun for me. These, I, to me, this is fun. Just making stuff up, really. Um, like in, oh uh, man, what's it called? Oh uh, man, um... Uh, ginger snaps the very first one you had the two sisters who started off and they would talk about death and they'd talk about you know like the aftermath and how it's all gross and disgusting and you know like whether it's you know from poisoning or um, committing suicide or death by lawnmower or tragedy uh, chaos freak accidents sort of stuff like they were really into this stuff and they used to make this kind of stuff up, like, you know, how did this person die, you know, and making it a headline, um, name the person, and this is what happened to them, this is the headline. After that movie, I had done the same thing with another friend of mine. The thing is, what we talked about, it wasn't about death as it was a headline, like, their successes, their achievements, you know, um, Uh, well, I don't know. I can't really think of any that we actually did. But I do have a feeling 
that a few of them probably have already happened, but not, you know, hitting the headlines as in, you know, in newspapers or anything like that. More like, um, like Facebook and Twitter and stuff. Like, um, I finally made it in a movie. Or, um, uh, designed my first string line of clothing sort of thing. I do have friends who actually have done stuff like that. Um, one friend in particular, she had designed a whole line of um, aprons and dresses, and they're really nicely done. They're very colorful and wonderful, and the fabric and everything, it looks like it would fit perfectly, and you could carry, like, spoons and a whole bunch of stuff and the things, and, you know, like, cloth and um, uh, paper towels and stuff like that, you know, spoons, uh, forks, whatever you need, you know, sort of thing, and, um, just, you know, typical kind of stuff. She, I would probably have her design my wedding dress, because I know she's going to make it look beautiful. Um, okay. Now, another thing I was asked to do was something that was on Facebook. And it was, um, like you'd start off with, it is harder than you think. No using Google, every answer must start with the first letter of your name. And since my name's Elizabeth, I had E, okay? So, like name, animal, boy's name, girl's name, occupation, color, something you wear, drink, food, something you find in the bathroom, place, reason to be late, something you shout. So, you know, just, I had... Uh, for my animal, elephant, boy's name, Edmund, I kind of like it, um, girl's name, Ellen Negridina, I wanted to mix a bunch of stuff together and just make it completely weird, um, occupation, engineer who is secretly an author, <laughs> color, evil purple or airy blue. I couldn't think of anything else. Something you wear. Everything black. Which is me. Because one, I have like two sets of black pants and then and two black skirts. And tons of black shot tops and tank tops and stuff like that. And I drink. English style milkshake. Food. Eggs. Any kind. Something you find in the bathroom. Empty sink. Usually. For me, usually. But there's times when I've actually found, um, like, white and bleach in the sink. Javix in the bleach, you know, just... My mom, my grandmother's really into... Well, my mom is, you know, keeping things white. That's her thing. Place. Egypt. That was the first thing I thought of when it came to place. Reasons to be late. Eating breakfast. Okay, because I do believe that eating is important. Something you shout. And I have shouted this. Eavesdropper. <laughs> Eavesdropper! <laughs> but I only shouted that as a joke. <laughs> they weren't really listening. They were kind of supposed to just be... They were waiting in line. Um, not in line. Not in a specific kind of line. Just, you know, getting into the office to talk to a program coordinator about their grades and about what to do next because you know they were along with us and we were supposed to wait in line too about the test and that we had questions and stuff like that and anyway I was talking to my friend at the same time and I actually you know saw over and they were watching us looking at us I'm like he's chopper <laughs> they got back like whoa uh, and it, it's <laughs> kind of made them laugh too because I guess it woke them up See, the thing is, I've also got different beginnings, different things I've written down, so... And I'm also thinking maybe I should put them on flashcards, you know. Um, feel free to copy these down and do them for yourself when you're bored. Having a sheet of paper like that next to you or in a notebook or something like that, and it will keep you busy if you're waiting in line 
like if you're doing this on your phone or on your um, iPod or anything like that, you know, it's a good way to keep yourself busy. Um, and also, it's um, when you're waiting for food at the restaurant or you're on a bus or you're in a, you know, some place that you can, you know, write without shaking too much that your writing is still legible as you're writing in a car or a bus. So, yeah, feel free to copy these down. Gonna, there we go. Perfect. Cause I've only got the 10 for now, so... And as you can see, the Hero Creator, it's supposed to be based off of kind of like the Flash, but it's just a title for now. And as you can see, there's also how I got myself glued to, and there's probably tons of things you could think of and why I love, and then you could just add something to it like why I love horses, why I love chocolate, why I love Netflix, why I love surfing, why I love dogs, why I love the park, why I love uh, walking down the street, you know, just different things. And as for this uh, thing, the last one here, I'm not too sure what you can do with that. I mean, I just had, like, in my head, like, my crush just took my bag. Or my crush just I don't know, just, there's so many different things. But a few of them are a little bit naughty, so I'm not going to put them on my channel, because I'm not you know, I'm really excited about that. I mean, I don't think any girl wants their crush to fart on them. Sorry, that for some reason that's the thing that's coming to my head. <laughs> I know I'm ridiculous. All right. Again, just so you know, tired. Didn't get enough sleep last night. I had too much on my mind, thinking over and over again how I should be approaching things, how I should be. Uh, figuring it out and it was already dealt with and resolved thank god so yes I'm glad totally happy with it wow 12 minutes all of that huh interesting um feel free to leave any comments subscribe I don't know whatever you guys want to do I'm not going to ask people to know me or to share me or anything like that this is just a video all right this is just for those of you who actually is creative. I just <sighs> want to promote it.